what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel in today's episode i'm going to be going over some benefits that couple bots can bring to your reef and how to add them don't forget to like and subscribe all right so these little guys are called limbits limbits are a type of gastropod that eat algae and they also like to scrape off coralline algae as they go around the tank so just be mindful of that and just know that they will also scrape off any type of musa algae as well off your rock scape and it's kind of like an urchin it's just going to go and scrape off the rock and clean as it goes okay so if you didn't see it in the beginning of the video i'm going to be adding four different jars of pods but they each uh, have their own in there except for the eco pods it has all three of these plus an extra one in there so it's four different pods in one Okay, so if you didn't catch that on the screen, biodiversity is super important to a thriving reef tank. There's so many different organisms in the actual ocean in a reef that we don't even know about or that we do know about. Knowing that recreating that ocean with all the different organisms living within it is key to a thriving reef tank. I just want to go over some benefits of cocoa pods in your reef tank. Number one being they are a self-sustaining natural food source, meaning that as long as you keep them fed and fat and happy with phytoplankton, which is their food by the way, they will multiply and then become a great natural food source for your fish, especially for those picky ones like mandarin gobies and several others. Number two being they are great cleaners. They can get into the nooks and crannies of rocks because they are so small and they even eat all the nuisance algaes that you can think of and they are overall just great cleaners to have. And number three, you guessed it, it increases biodiversity. What did I say? Biodiversity is key when you have a reef tank. Okay guys, so now I think it's time to go into how to add them to your tank. Okay, just like with anything that you're adding to your reef tank that's live, you want to temperature acclimate them to reduce the uh, stress of being added to a new system. Moving on to our next step, where you want to turn everything off to include UV sterilizers, your skimmers, your wave makers, and your return pump. You want to turn everything off, make it nice and still in the reef. For this step, I like to add a couple pods at nighttime. The best time to do it is at night because they will have a fighting chance to actually get into the substrate and the rocks before getting picked off by the fish. So the lights have been dimmed for about like an hour and a half so the fish can't really see the copepods too well, although the studio lights don't really help. So what I also like to do is wait at least 15 to 30 minutes before turning all the flow and everything back on. Uh, that way they can have time to get settled in and not get blown around and get filtered out through the sump or anything. Okay, now that they're all in, let's take a closer look and see if we can find any. All right guys, the pods are in. The only thing left to do now is turn all the power back on all our pumps and everything and get it back to working order. Hey guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I bet you're thinking to yourself, you were thinking that you weren't gonna see me this whole video. 
ta-da, here I am. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're new to the channel, stick around. You might learn something. And there's also builds going on on the tanks. There's this Cade build. There's even stuff to do in the cube. I got videos planned. It's going to be exciting, guys. It's going to be exciting. I just want you to stick around because you're going to enjoy the show. Sawfish TV, ow. Oh, one last thing before I go. So if you ever have a request, a special request or a recommendation on the video, go ahead and comment that down below and let me know. And I will do my best to make it. I'm here for you guys. I appreciate each and every single one of you. My subscribers, you guys are awesome. See ya. One last thing before you go, guys. If you have questions, put them down in the comments down below, and I will answer them in my next videos. Peace.